so here we are, so here we are, so here we are again, back in the studio with the latest episode of Is It with him, Sean, and me, Dan. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> and today we're going back into some familiar territory. Yeah, we're going to have a look at two new effects from Safari Pedals. Um, much like their other stuff, they look like wacky, crazy coloured designed guitar pedals, uh, but they're plugins for studio use. And they've done some really interesting stuff in the past, really enjoy their stuff. And having a bit of a browse through their website, notice they've got two new ones. Uh, one of which is called the Flamingo Verb. Of course. Reverb pedal. The other one is called Yak Delay. Yakadi, yakadi. So let's start with the Flamingo Verb. You would think, okay, you know, reverb pedal, what's it going to do? It's, let's start, it's just nice. It sounds like we were just messing with it. It takes zero time at all to get a nice sounding reverb. But there's some very simple controls. You can drive, you've got the time, the length of the reverb. You've then got the width, nice to have. Pre-delay, high pass, low pass. But you're thinking, that's nothing special. Insert it on something, set the blend so that it's letting some dry through and then just dial it in and mess with it. And it will really quickly, there's some great sounds for drums or guitars, or vocals, anything. It's just easy and sounds great. Like all their stuff, that's their thing, isn't it? I want to meet the guy who designs the pictures that go back on the inter on the back of the interface. Yeah, they're a bit mental, aren't they? Yeah. They're great. Far out. I was a bit freaked out when I first saw their stuff. I was like, oh, that's a bit weird, can't see that working. Yeah. But it really works. It does. They sound amazing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So Flamingo, I mean, like all their stuff, there's oversampling, um, there's an output control. It's, it's really simple to use, but very, very quickly, you will find yourself getting a very usable sound. And that's that's what their selling point, I think, is. Uh, Yak delay, very similar. So there's a drive control. You can set the amount of repeats, the type of delay, whether it's a ping pong or a dotted or whatever it's going to be. Uh, a time control for how the delays are hitting. Obviously, you can sync it to tempo of your door, which is what most of us are going to do. And then there's a high pass and a low pass. And again, you've got the blend, oversampling, all the rest of it. We should mention that this is a collaboration with a gentleman with a fantastic first name and a surname of my favourite condiment. Uh, Dan, Dan Mayo. Mayo. Who's a drummer, which would strikes me as a slightly odd uh, collaboration for somebody that worked on a delay. Although the first thing I did with this was start getting dub delays going. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, I suppose. You know what I mean? Those, those kind of wicked delays and snares and stuff well there you go yeah, yeah. um but we did look up dan mayo worth worth having a google if uh yeah if interesting you, if chat. You want to have a look interesting dude yeah so more amazing stuff from uh safari pedals who also at the time of shooting had a massive reduction on bit of a sale going on yeah so these first of all demo by the way 14 day full demo on everything they do so that's great you can have a proper play with it uh usual price for both of these 38 dollars which is a steal anyway but but right now 19 dollars each <laughs> i mean it's nothing and they're really really usable they, i know there's lots of reverbs and lots of delays and you probably get a bunch free with your door but none of them will be as quick to get something cool and fun as these will i think that's the thing isn't it they're not just you know they're creative aren't they they're, they're almost in, if you're looking for something different to yep. spice something up part um, in your mix yeah they'll it, do something a bit kooky everybody has those complicated delays we can do multi-taps and clever stuff and filtering and all that stuff and you know we've got reverbs up yin yang these days we can do anything but these are just very simple and they invite you to get stuck in and i think yeah that's their selling point Excellent. So we know all this, don't we? The demos. We know the demos. Fourteen days, nineteen dollars in the sale at the moment. All good. No brainer. Can't argue. So, Sean. Yes. The uh, well, should we do them one after the other? Let's do one after the other. The flamingo verb. Safari pedals. Is it shit? Nope. Not shit. Not shit. Um, the yakka d lay. Um, <laughs> in collaboration with Dan Mayo. Is that shit? Not in the slightest bit shit. No. Isn't it? You know, this is one of the great things about doing this. We were recommended these Safari plugins, which yeah. it's likely we'd have never discovered because it's not the sort of thing no. that we'd go and look for, is it? No, no. I mean, it's totally the opposite of the kind of plugin I would generally yeah. go for. But <laughs> yeah. I, I use them a lot. We love them. We love them. So uh, if you find the video useful, please like. Even better subscribe to the channel that really helps us we also have an instagram which is studio life 101 and there's a patreon and there's a merch store and a whole bunch of other stuff and all the details are down there we make a lot of effort to reply to your comments we read all of the comments if we you've do. got any suggestions or you want to say 
Something nice. Something nice is good. Or, or something not nice. We'll reply anyway. <laughs> anyway, until then, we'll see you on the next episode of Is It Shit? Adios.